Speaking Strategies for the TOEFL IBT Video 5 by Bruce Sterling Hi, my name is Bruce Sterling. In this video, you will learn how to develop and deliver a response for Speaking Task 5 using the argument map G3TICK-C. Before we start, please remember, this is an integrated video course. What you learn in one video will be applied to the next. For maximum learning benefit, please view the videos sequentially. Let's begin. As you know, there are six speaking tasks. In this video, we will focus on Task 5. Task 5 is an integrated task. This task measures your ability to integrate two skills, listening and speaking. There is no reading. In the listening, two students will discuss a problem and the solutions to the problem. When you speak, you will summarize the problem and the solutions. You will show how they topically integrate, then explain which solution you think is best and why. This task is scored out of four total points. You can develop and deliver a response for speaking task five using the argument map G3TICK-C. Follow these steps. Step 1. Make a note map. As you listen to the task instructions, make a note map. Divide a piece of paper in two. Put problem on the left and solutions on the right. When the students speak, they will start by giving a general description of the problem. Therefore, under Problem, put G for General. When the students describe the solutions to the problem, they will give specific topic information. Please remember, you will hear two solutions. To save time on test day, simply write 1 and 2 under Solutions. My note map is now complete. Next is Step 2, Listening. When the task instructions end, the listening will start. Look at this sample tape script. As you read, note how the problem comes first, followed by the two solutions. Pause here to read it. As you can see from the tape script, the woman has a problem. She got accepted into Harvard Law School, but she can't afford it. Note how the problem is stated using cause and effect. Pause here to read it. On your note map, under Problem, note the woman's problem using cause and effect. Red is cause, blue is effect. Pause here to read it. After the problem is described, the solutions will follow. In this example, the man suggests two solutions. Note how the first solution is a reason based on cause and effect. Pause here to read it. Note this solution on your note map using cause and effect. Pause here to read it. The second solution is also a reason based on cause and effect. Pause here to read it. Note this solution on your note map using cause and effect. My note map is now complete. Pause here to read it. When the listening ends, the prompt will appear on your screen. The prompt is Step 3. On test day, you will answer this prompt. Pause here to read it. On test day, make sure you read the prompt carefully. Make sure you understand the prompt. Please remember, this prompt has three parts. First, you must summarize the problem. This is an objective speaking task in which you will use the third person when speaking. Next, you must summarize the two solutions. 
This is also an objective speaking task in which you will use the third person when speaking. Next, you must state which solution you think is best and why. This is a subjective speaking task in which you will use the first person when speaking. As you can see, this task measures your ability to integrate both objective and subjective grammar when speaking. Next is step 4, preparing to speak. You will have 20 seconds to prepare your response. Because you have very little time to prepare, follow these steps. Divide your response into three sections, starting with context and problem. The context is a general statement in which you introduce the main topic. Next, summarize the problem using cause and effect. Next are the solutions. Summarize the two solutions using cause and effect. As you can see, the first two steps of your response will be objective summaries. Pause here to read the response map so far. Next, you will state your opinion. This is a subjective task or personal argument. You will state which solution you think is best and why, and give reasons to support your opinion. Pause here to read the completed response map. Next is Step 5, Speaking. You will have 60 seconds to follow your note map and deliver your response. It might seem impossible to squeeze all this information into 60 seconds. It is not. The key is to manage your time. Manage your time by following this time chart. For the context problem summary, speak for 10 seconds. For the solutions summary, speak for 30 seconds. For your opinion, speak for 20 seconds. Pause here to read the response. As you can see, G3 tick C is used twice in this response for mapping out the objective summary and the subjective argument. Pause here to read it. By mapping out your response this way, the objective summary and the subjective argument verbally integrate. The speaking raters are trained to listen for this integrated structure. By using G, 3, tick, C, you will know what to say, how to say it, where to say it, when to say it, and why for maximum scoring on test day. Okay, so that's it for Speaking Strategies Video 5. In the next video, Speaking Strategies Video 6, you will continue to recycle strategies as you learn how to develop and deliver a response for Speaking Task 6 using the argument map G3TICK-C. If you want more information about the topics in this video or want to practice what you've learned, please see my books. Practice Tests for the TOEFL IBT Speaking and Writing Strategies for the TOEFL IBT Scoring Strategies for the TOEFL IBT A Complete Guide If you have any questions, please contact me, Bruce Sterling, TOEFL Pro, at Facebook.com. Thanks for watching.